Hello and welcome to episode 27 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now we've got a big game to start off the episode today. We're at home to Man City. We're in maybe a tiny little dip in form, but we're still 10th. And Gabby's still only one goal off Harry Kane. Uh, the top of the goal rankings in the Premier League, which is uh, something we'd like to do. But the question is at the moment, which I've been asking in the last few episodes, it is still early December, so we're not into the January transfer window yet. But where should we be going? What team should we be going to? Because we think we're done with Big Sam and Everton. And the two teams that have come up the most have been, well, one of them has been Arsenal, my beloved team. And obviously there's a good few reasons to go there. First of all, it's Arsenal, and, um, you know, that is my side. I'm not sure about the formation they're playing at the moment, but it could work okay with two attacking midfielders behind us. I mean, how much fun would it be to play with Ozil and Sanchez and Cazorla and uh, Giovini, Giovinio, sort of. And we should be able to come in and take Welbeck's spot, you'd think. Uh, they're not doing great in the league, that's the only problem at the moment, which is maybe... Maybe that's a reason to go in. Um, at the moment, they're in eighth. Um, I don't know how far they are off the top of the league, but um, I'm not sure they're really challenging at the moment. It's not necessarily the formation we wanted to play in, but that is an, it's an tempting one, I have to say. Maybe going at this point of the season, we wouldn't get enough games to then win the Golden Boot because we'd have to integrate in the side. And with only half a season, that might be uh, it might be too soon. And with only half a season left, it might not be enough time. So I'm worried about that. The other team that has come up a lot, and it's always been on our radar is AC Milan. Yeah, we want to go back and we want to prove to Inter that they made a huge mistake. It's the right formation. I think this would be great. Shalanolu and Suso on either wing, and then with that great midfield three as well. I mean, it's it's a, it's a really nice looking side. They've signed Andre Gray. They're not playing Andre Silva by the looks of it. Um, I think we could, we could do really well in this team. It's a really nice looking side, and we've never played in Serie A. So uh, that's an exciting one. So those are two to consider. As always, I'll be taking your suggestions. So in terms of where Arsenal are in the league, let's have a look at them and remind ourselves of the standings. See, they're in eighth. They're ten points off United in first place. Even if we do go in there, are we going to get enough games to influence that position? I guess they're only six points behind Tottenham, so maybe our goals can contribute to that because they've not scored that many. I mean, they've scored more than Liverpool and West Ham, who are above them on points. Actually, it does seem to be their goals conceded that are the problem. But with one more win, Everton could be going above Arsenal. We don't want to be going to a side who are below us in the league. That would seem stupid, especially now we're a guaranteed starter at Everton. It's not going to be cut and dry. And luckily, in a way, we've got quite a few games in before we need to make a decision. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily nailed on that we're going to leave. And some of you might be disappointed to hear that because the sentiment in the comments is definitely we need to get the hell out of here. But um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, six of those in the league. And uh, the complexion of the league and the complexion of this season for Everton could be looking wildly different by the time we get to the January transfer window. So let's start that off and start changing that complexion with a uh, unlikely home win against Man City. Oh, that's where Lacazette's gone. He's uh, playing alongside Sterling up front. This is an interesting formation that Guardiola is now going for. And they've signed Walcott as well. They have plundered Arsenal. And, uh, well, Guardiola's obviously managed to get something out of Theo Walcott in the same way that he has out of Raheem Sterling in real life. So you've got to say that's incredible management. Who are we playing with today? Gabby continues his dramatic improvement. That's been going on for a while now. We really are starting to push on. We need to make sure that we're getting the most goals possible during this period, though. Didn't get one in the last game, which was disappointing. And uh, we've got Klassen behind us. Balassi and Lennon. I like playing with Lennon. Barkley's in there as well. Let's go. Come on. So as I said, we've got a long way still to go until January. And, uh, well, the Goodison fans here, I'm sure we'll still be optimistic had a really good start to the season in many ways there's been some disappointing losses and some uh some times where they've just lost concentration taken their foot off the pedal and we've been caught out late in games but i think you know a summary of the first half of this season so far would be very positive and uh despite some of big sam's negative tactics there's still there's still room for us to improve and room for us to have a really good finish if we keep playing as we have this season right let's get into it here come Man City, one of the most feared teams in world football at the moment. Guardiola has got this team purring in real life. Can they replicate it here? Well, they've added Lacazette. Oh, and here is Lacazette. Through on goal straight away. Incredible save there. Who's in the net today? Is it Robles? That was some save. He got down very well. As I said, they've added Alexander Lacazette. Obviously, wasn't having much of a, much of a time of it at Arsenal. And they've plundered us once again, Man City. De Bruyne with this one. Sane's got across his man. Lovely header. Oh, it's come off. Leighton Baines again. How many own goals is it possible to score in a season? It's going to be the player who scored the most goals against us this season. Robles comes out and gives Leighton Baines 
little tap on the head just to say it's not your fault. But please be more aware. I don't understand the lack of awareness in the box that Everton defenders seem to have this season. That is now the fourth own goal. It's becoming... It's becoming ridiculous. It's, it's not even a joke anymore. There's something wrong at the heart of this side. It means we just... I mean, maybe they've been told score a goal whatever happens and they're, you know, misunderstanding that as in they should just get the ball in the net at any end of the pitch because it's it's bizarre now. It's bizarre how many there's been. Gabby through to Klassen. Company's there. Ball out. Ball inside to Gabby. Right foot. Good challenge there from Mangala. So a corner won by Gabby's, uh, Gabby's efforts. It's going to be Klassen to get this one. Mangala. It's full to Barkley. Oh, not cleared though. Balassi will have a go. Oh, that is some finish from Yannick Balassi. He's got a couple of pile drivers this season. And that one was hit sweetly. I love a shot like that from outside the area. Low and hard. Bravo couldn't get down quick enough. And uh, we're level here. Against the odds. Man City have come out all guns blazing as you'd expect. But that is nice. Laser guided in off the base of the post. Come on. Ball down the line into Gabby. He's having to pull wide to find space. Very congested. Moves it on now into Baines. Back to Gabby. Goes to Gay. He has the ball on here, Lennon. Gabby in the box, the right foot. Oh, rushed it. Rushed that massively. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was a good run from Gabby. Lennon maybe delayed the ball slightly more than I would have liked. First time ball there would have done it. We had to really hit it there. I think Mangala, not a Mendy, would have been on us. But it wasn't a convincing hit on the right foot. And as half time approaches, that could have been the goal. Oh, Gabby's made a good run here. Ooh, bravo. Punches well. And here we are. Half time at Goodison. Um, not much action in the second half of that first half. But in the first 15 minutes, it was it was a good game. The own goal was unfortunate. Why does that keep happening? And then Balassi evened things up with a very sweetly hit shot. I think they're there for the taking, Man City. I don't know. They're not frightening. They're not that frightening. I think we can do this. Gabby missed a big chance at the end of the half. Hopefully his uh, confidence won't be dented too much by that. We can come out and finish one off. Gabby. Has to push it into Klassen. What are you doing? Klassen's having an absolute nightmare. It's actually not a bad ball from Gabby. He just needed to take a touch. Try and continue the move. But he went for a shot from stupid distance. And he slipped as well. He's having a bad game. Can we get Wayne Rooney on, please? Good challenge there. And another good challenge from Phil Jagielka. He's having an excellent game with the captain's armband on today. And he plays it back. Come on. Let's build. Let's build. Gabby, good dribbling. Finds Coleman. Ah, oh, what sort of cross is that? Seamus. Seamus. Oh, good header from Sterling. Danger here. Lacazette does well to keep the ball moving. And now Sterling, that's a poor ball. Sterling into Lacazette. These two uh, interesting strike partners. The ball does go back out to De Bruyne and he finds Sane. Great ball from him. Leroy Sane now. Danger signs here from Man City. Sterling with the back heel. Cheeky. Company's tackle doesn't quite find Gabby. Pushes it wide to Baines. One more. It's going to fall to him. Gabby! Oh, no! Oh! And we've had the chances again. The Everton fans will be head in hands as their top scorer, almost the top scorer in the Premier League, misses two good chances. I mean, that was a great ball in from Leighton Baines. Maybe a touch would have done it, but we hit it straight at Bravo. Panicking again. De Bruyne now. Is he going to ruin the day for us? Oh, Klassen, you've got to get that away. No, Sterling. Oh, good catch. One minute left. If we've got time for one more attack. That's not going to help. Sterling, ball over, looking for Silva. Good header away. Lennon back to Stecklenburg. And that's it. One all here at Goodison. Oh, Gabby had the chances. Seven shots on target. Really, we were the better side. Stecklenburg did have to have a good game. To keep them out. Gabby. Oh, the last chance of the game. Lovely ball in from Baines. Could have taken a touch. Straight at Bravo. He had a good game as well, let's be fair. But, oh, God. Last two games, we've had the chances. Sound like a broken record this season. I mean, we have had the chances and we have been taking them. Obviously, we're the second highest scorer in the league. It's not a vintage year for goal scoring, to be fair. But, oh, you've got to be disappointed with that. So, one all. Well, keeps us in 10th. 
But we do drop now off Arsenal, who are five points ahead of us. We oh, could have beaten them in the last game, but they're in the Europa League spots now. We're still there. We're still still in the conversation. And that's all we want. That's all we can ask for, really. So stamina up to 76. That's good. That's what we wanted. And lofted pass up to 70. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll, I'm, surely it's going to end now, though, the dramatic improvement. We'll find out. So before we get into this game, I do have to congratulate Gabby. I don't know much about the award. I just heard a few things. But I do know that previous winners include Rivaldo, Christian Vieri, Adriano, Alexandra Pato, Dzeko, Condogbia. I mean, what a star-studded, glittering lineup that is. So whatever it is, it must be something really that... Oh, hang on. I'm just, just getting reports in here. It's the golden bin. Ah, okay. That's, um, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Blimey. Barely had a chance to play. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's actually really disappointing for Gabby, I have to say. It's good good for him to get a bit of a uh, bit of silverware, but that's not really really what we're after. I mean, he's had a tough time at Inter, of course he has, and out on loan, it was the wrong club. We've said that so many times. Uh, but what I would say is, Gabby, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are, let's not forget about another Brazilian, another young Brazilian who had a tough time at Inter, had a lot of injuries, was out of favour for a long time, then he got a move to Liverpool, and then he got a move to Barcelona. Yep, Philippe Coutinho. Hopefully, Gabby can start to mirror his uh, his career, but I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to go back to Brazil, and it's the last we'll hear of him. But this series has been a little bit like that, hasn't it? We went out on loan, and then we got a move to the Premier League, and we're starting to shine, and then maybe from now, the sky's the limit. But yeah, unfortunate, Gary, to be getting the bidon d'or. But as I said, in this series, we're going to try and... Uh, we're changing the course of his history, and then hopefully it'll be the, uh, the inspiration for him to do that in real life. So we're back in the starting lineup. We do need a goal today. Dramatic improvement still on. Good. We've got Waza behind us. That's a rarity. We'll see how that goes. And Schneidlin and McCarthy. It's a very much changed squad. I think obviously Big Sam wants to see goals. Uh, Coleman's still in. Keane drops to the bench. Right, come on. This has got to be it. Up against West Brom. There's got to be goals here. Let's go. So forget golden bin. We're going to go for top bins today. Yeah, we want to see goals. There's, there's no two ways about it. Can't go three games without a goal on a dramatic improvement. That would be unheard of, and it would be a massive shame because it can't be helping our improvement not to be finding the goals. We're playing well. We're getting the opportunities, as I say every time. Gabby, um, whether it's him creating them himself or just through good running, good intelligence, he's always getting the chances. We just need to be finishing them off. We just need that consistency. West Brom looking to build something here. The Welshman, Robson Carney, has it nicked off him, and now we can break. No one really with us, though. So Gabby's going to have to run at them. Turns. That's nice play to find Balassi. Balassi, can he put a ball in? We'll put one in. At the far post, it's Morales. He can't get to it. Krioiak will bring it away. First chance of the game there. And it was barely a chance. It's been a very difficult half. Oh, Gabby reads that well. Then turns back inside Livermore. Finds Schneidlin. Now Schneidlin again. Ball inside to Gabby. Gets up for the header. What was that? Didn't even go in the right direction. Gabby gets the block on it. It's going to fall here. Gabby with the right foot. Well, that was uh, that was sloppy in the extreme. <laughs> we'll take that. The first header was comical. Comical. It didn't go anywhere near the goal. It would have been a difficult one. I think he tried to just swivel and get a nick to it. He managed to block that. And then I think it was McCarthy who found him with a simple ball. And it was a good finish. Oh, Gabby puts the pressure on and he's through. One on one now. Oh, Grigori, incredible challenge. And then, oh my god. Just took our time with that. Thought we had more time than we did, but that was a great challenge. There's no doubt about that. But Gabby is uh, putting himself about, making the interceptions. An interception is what caused the first goal. And it almost caused the second there. Oh, and again, he's got in front of it. And the ball over the top now. Oh, Cook gets there. Gets ahead to it. But Gabby is causing havoc in this West Brom defence. He's blocking the passing lanes. And uh, should have had another one there, though. That's unfortunate. West Brom looking to strike back. Robson Carney, lovely ball into Morrison. Hits it. Wow. Just wide of the goal. Pickford looked to be flapping at it. Nice ball in. Looking for Gabby. Krakowiak again. Gabby tries to get the header back. Oh, that's a mistake. Gabby again. Oh, Krakowiak. Get away. Krakowiak looks to put it into the box. That's well cleared. Got so much space out here. Oh, I couldn't get to it. Neom does really well. Burke's there at the far post. Oh, he spoons it wide. Well, it's Gabby's goal that separates the two sides. But Gabby should have had three. At least three. The one-on-one. -on -one, he just dithered. Allowed the defender back in. 
And he had a couple of other really good chances as well. But Krakowiak has been excellent. The West Brom centre-back has really prevented us getting those extra goals. But Gabby has been running his socks off in this one. He's really putting himself about. He wants to make amends. He wants goals. He wants to be involved. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the second half. Lovely ball into Gabby. He'll take it down. Turns. Hits it. Oh, good save. Lovely centre-forward play there from Gabby. It was a ball in that was going to always force him to try and take it down under pressure. He did really well with Cook on him. Took it on the chest. Swiveled. Got the shot away. Took a good save to keep him out. Oh, Balassi lets it run. Gabby's made a run. Gabby's there ahead of Hammers. Oh, what a header that is. What a header. Gabby with uh, showing all the different skills that you'd want a centre forward to show. Great hold up play. Good one touch finishing in the box for the first goal. And here an absolutely gargantuan header. After good play from Balassi down the line. Let's it run. That's lovely stuff. And then Gabby gets into the danger area. And then leaps. Oh, the leap. And then the header. Leaves the keeper flapping. What a goal that is. So happy to score a goal like that. That is, that is old-fashioned centre-forward play, that is. That's vintage. Vintage striker. Vintage number nine. Here comes Neom now. Everton starting to uh, sit back, as they tend to do when they go up. Let's not get complacent, lads. Come on. Lads, please. Jakob with too much time into Livermore. Saldoni now with acres of space to put the cross in. He will do to the far purse. Burke is there. Schneidlin hands out for a corner. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Come on. Morrison now to whip it in. The outswinger. Livermore's made a good run. Oh my god. They're going to score. I can feel it every time. Every single time. It's the same story. And it's another corner here. Morrison over this one. Look to swing it in. Robson Carter with the near post. Great header. Lovely header off the line there. Not sure who that, sure who that was. But West Brom keep it alive. Burke. Oh, he has it nicked off him. Great play. And oh, uh, what? How is that? For who? Who did a foul there? There's nothing wrong with that at all. That is a good, strong tackle. Balassi, ball into Gabby. Gets up, heads it back. Good stuff. Once again, exemplary centre forward play there. Morales looking for options. Ball inside to Gabby's a good one. Turns Krikoriak this time. Into the box, Gabby now to the line. Gets the left foot shot in straight at the keeper. Did well to get it out of his feet at all. Maybe having gone that far, he should have looked for a cutback, but can't really deny him the shot. Gabby would really like a hat-trick today. That's a good ball. Under pressure from Krikoriak, who's had Gabby's number all game. Gabby turns him back inside and turns him again to the line now. No one there, but he put, put a ball back into the danger area. Balassi was there just about. Gabby trying to get his own back on. Krikoriak gets the block in. Oh, can't get to it. That's uh, Gabby really putting himself about today. He's looked excellent. Oh, Hammers, great footwork. Rodriguez, the substitute. Pickford forced into a dramatic save. I don't know why they didn't play Rodriguez in the first place. Robson Carnu clearly not the player that Rodriguez is. Neither of them great, to be honest. It's Morrison now who puts the ball into the box. A goal now for West Brom would make this very interesting, but that is a strong take by Jordan Pickford. Last few minutes of the game here. Can we find something? Gabby lays it off to Rooney. Can he keep possession long enough for us to find space through the centre? Ball into Gabby. Not a good one. And the uh, dream of the hat-trick is over. The three points here are assured. And the Goodison fans will be very pleased with this. Gabby grabs two goals. The first one, well, it was a poacher's effort. After uh, not a particularly good header, but then the second was an excellent header. In a way, one of my favourite goals we've scored this season. That header there in the build-up was ridiculous. But as we saw throughout the game, Gabby was just a menace. And then actually the finish was a lot cooler. It, it, the problem he seems to have is too much time is not good for him. Too much time to weigh up a shot. Too much time to decide to cut back in. But give him a uh, snap decision to make and he'll tend to finish much better. Um, and that's something that will come with age. The finishing when you've got a bit more time. He's still a young man, but he is well in the goals this season. He gets man of the match today. And that could well take him to the uh, top of the goal rankings. Let's go and have a look. So, three points and a much needed three points against the West Brom side. Who are, yeah, they're not actually, they're pretty close to us, really. They could have gone above us with a win today. Uh, now we're only two points off seventh place Arsenal. And uh, luckily, I mean, fifth place is only five points away. 
The top four may well be out of our reach now. Ten points ahead of us is Liverpool and Man City, Chelsea and United. Um, much too far for us to catch, I would say, but Europa League's still a possibility. And we're up to 83 overall rating now. 20 goals in 21 appearances, only one assist, which is poor, but he's a goal scorer. We don't need to be uh, frightened of that. 85 speed now, 89 explosive power. That's huge. And there we are. That should be the end, surely, you'd expect. But 83 finishing. Well, he should be putting more goals away with that sort of level of finishing. Up against Finnersberg in the next episode. I'm pretty sure we're already through, so we don't need to play that. I might even skip that, since we are through. And we have forged unbreakable trust. Oh my god, that's exciting. What does that mean? Does that mean we're up to 100% manager trust rating? We are. Big Sam trusts us implicitly. Um, he might be in for a bit of a shock when we leave in January, but we're still yet to decide on that. We're ninth in the league. Uh, we're still a goal behind Harry Kane, who's obviously managed to net a few as well. Um, the best we can hope for is Europa League, I'd say, but we could get the golden boot. Maybe if we move somewhere within the Premier League, we could do both. We could challenge for the Premier League title and get the golden boot. Only problem then is, will we get enough starts going into a team halfway through the season? That's the issue. That's the problem we will have. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>